guys, we're back. We're here with the ColourPop It's a Mood eyeshadow palette, the 30 pan eyeshadows. It is a jewel tone, it's pretty, it's fall-like, and we created this eye look today. So continue watching, we'll do eyeshadow together. Make sure you like and subscribe, as always. And let's play with eyeshadow today. Hey guys. We're here to create this look. I am, we're using that in some palette. We're going in with the shade Don't Deny right there. And I'm going to take a pointed detail brush there and tap into this. This shade is actually really powdery. I don't know if you can see that kickback on that very powdery so with this eye look of course you want to keep it right we're just gonna tap the color in Once I did that, of course I took the Kimberly base in the shade Rumor 2. Okay. I have the P. Louise base down and just making sure all the creases are all blended out there. I then took this pointed brush here. Um, I grabbed the pointed brush because I wanted to get as close to the line without making it go over too much. And I took this brownish, tannish shade here. It's called Midnight Run. And I tapped that brush, picked up a lot of pigment there because I wanted just to fill that in. And of course, with that pointed brush, it, it just works better. You could use a flat brush, but this kind of brush just picks up more pigment and get the eyeshadow done faster. <laughs> so I just put that all over the lid here. Keep going in. There is a lot of kickback with this uh, eyeshadow palette. It kind of a little, but I don't mind. I just kind of blow it off because I don't really like my palettes getting too messy so a lot of my palettes do look new because of that because I don't like when they look they're not dirty but I don't like when the eyeshadow gets all over and then anyways <laughs> that's just me that's just a personal preference And I'll just use the really tip of that brush there and just try to get close to that line without blending into that blue too much then that blue will start coming down tapping that color back and make sure it's all there Okay, now we have that color down. I am going to go back into that brush that I had that blue on and just tap over this part right here just to make sure that the lines are not too harsh and they're blended there. Just the slightest. And then I took a flat pointed brush. You could really take honestly a flat brush and I went in with the shade here. It's called Thunder. Now it has like a, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, it's like a duochrome almost. 
but it has like a pinkish bluish hue to it but it has like a brownish pinkish undertone but I figured that would be a nice color and I did tap that in between these two right here so we're gonna tap it right in between these two colors and now what I did now that now this shade I don't know I want to kind of show you see how it it's kind of like creamy but powdery at the same time I want to say it kind of reminds me of their their little I forget what they're called these things what are oh super super shock shadows that's what it kind of reminds me of that that kind of texture but this one seems just a little bit powdery but it still has that super super shock shadow creaminess to that if that makes any sense <laughs> so I basically tap that shade right all over between those two shades there and I did spray the brush just to get a little bit more shine and get that to stick there because it is a powdery shimmer and sometimes when you spray um, shadows like that they become a little bit more intense I think this one kind of looks the same whether it's wet or dry I just wanted it to stick better so I have that there and I just go back in with that brush and I kind of just go over this a little make sure it's blended in and then back with that blue one Okay, so I took a small pointed brush for the blue again. We're jumping back into that blue called Don't Deny. And putting that really tightly on the lower lash line. And then I went back with that fluffy blending brush and took, I think I took this shade with it, yeah, I ended up taking this shade, the Midnight Run, and just blending that out at the bottom there a little. Okay, once I did that, I took the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Overboard. It's like a bronze color. And I put that on the waterline. So. I just think that bronze color matched perfectly with the lid, but it has a shimmer and it gave it like that perfect penny shine. And then I took the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. This is in the brown shade. And just put that on. I figured the black wouldn't be a little harsh and the brown was just perfect, especially with the tones of this eye look so it kept it soft but still defining and of course I take my spoolie brush go in through those lashes separate them and 
make sure they're not all clumped together. And there you have it, the eyeshadow look. There we are, we created this eye look with the It's a Mood palette. This palette is a nice jewel tone palette. It worked great. Here we have our eye look. And if you would like to see more eye looks with this palette, let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching as always. Until next time, guys. See ya. Bye.